What's up everyone? Thanks for watching this one. We're getting ready to jump into a hunt with my dad. He actually went to Colorado on a over-the-counter elk hunt this year. Had a great time and uh, was successful. So unfortunately, uh, when the bull came out, he turned on the GoPro, but he forgot to hit record. So unfortunately, the shot is not on footage, but I have uh, some footage from him, you know, up going up to it and, you know, the recovery and pack out and things like that. So just figured I would let you jump in there and watch with me. So I hope you enjoy it and, uh, you know, watch all the way to the end and uh, you really enjoy it. So thanks for watching. Okay. Uh, it is September the 7th and this is the first video I've taken on the phone, but I just shot, I think it's a four by four. Couldn't tell. It was behind some brush and when it stepped out, I didn't bother looking. Um, but anyway, got the whole thing on, on the GoPro, I hope. Um, I had it running the whole time, so hopefully it captured everything. But anyway, it's uh, 12, it was shot in about 12 o'clock. But when he rolled down, and it's kind of steep in here, which is kind of norm for Colorado. He rolled down. Anyway, he's in this hole. So, going to have to get him out. Anyway. Good day. All right. I had to get some of this brush away. Uh, looks like he's a five by four young one. Probably a three year old. But four on the right side and five on the left. And my shot, <coughs> excuse me. My shot's a little high. Comes out a little high. I don't know where it went in. But came out high. That's why there was no blood. Very little blood. Anyway, got to get him out of this hole. All right. I'm standing where I shot that bull from. Let me reverse it. So. Behind this little bit of brush, which is only 10 yards in front of me. They were back there on the other side of those pines. And then when they came out came out right over here that's where I shot him at probably only 15 yards now that I look at it so anyway and then he took off let's see he was there he went straight that way and then he went up that way and I calculated on the onyx he only went about 75 yards just to get a give you an idea of how nasty it is back here it's pretty steep a lot of blow down let me get past this tree over there is where i shot him so he uh right below that log there sorry for the sun that's where he started rolling Rolled down here, ended up right there in that hole. His head was buried in there. So, wasn't easy. Had to take him apart one piece at a time, but finally got him out. Well, I thought I took several videos. Evidently, I didn't get any of them. Thought I had a video of the shot. Anyway, I don't, so here's the bull, small raghorn, five by four, the hole that it was in, and then uh, maneuvered it around, pulled it out, so getting ready to get out of here, got the hind quarter on the back, on the backpack, going to take the shoulder and the back strap up there come back and get that tomorrow sorry ryan thought i'd gotten those other videos i guess i don't know how to work this thing well dumb me turned on the gopro and forgot to hit play had good video of i thought we did of the cow and two calves and and then the that young bull that came out 
but I thought to turn it on I just didn't think to hit play so I'm on my way out with the first load I'm not coming back in tonight I'll wait come back in tomorrow anyway pretty country so the way the shot went down is I was basically using calf lost calf calls and uh, working up this ridge and hadn't really seen much elk sign hardly any but this ridge is kind of on the back side and uh, about two miles in so I worked my way up that ridge doing lost calf calls and then I heard what I thought was a far off just a little bugle so I bugled back walked over in that direction and I was looking at my looking at my phone to see what time he had bugled because I was gonna wait to return the call based on his return and I probably didn't go 50 yards and I saw heard something and saw looked and in the brush I saw movement and, and then I saw the, the five point the five side and uh, brush was in the way and the wind was coming up so it was in my favor and then I didn't know it but there was a cat uh, two calves and a cow and they stepped out could have shot her easy but they wandered off and he just kept feeding in there and then uh, I uh, I drew once because I thought he was stepping out he didn't then finally he stepped out and I just hit him with a, a nervous grunt he stopped held the pin mid body didn't realize he was angling away from me so I shot him a little far back but it worked out a little high but that's why he didn't bleed much in the beginning but he didn't go very far he went less than 100 yards for sure. I'll have to check the onyx to see exactly how far, but it wasn't that far. I heard him go down. I was just kind of curious and wondering because I didn't hear, I didn't see a lot of blood. But that's because the shot was just a hair high. Just a hair over mid-body. Anyway, sorry again I didn't get the, hit the play button. Sorry, Ryan. All right. Got my last load down, got the last shoulder and uh, the head with the rack and all. I tried to pick, take a picture up there, but it was really rough and steep. And I certainly wasn't going to stop on my way down. But anyway, may have been a young bull, but boy, he's heavy. <coughs> Very heavy, but that's part of the game. Thankful to get it done. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that hunt. Uh, here at the end, up here, I'm going to have a couple of videos. So 10 years ago, my dad and I was on an elk hunt. I called on a bull for him. So if you click up over here on this side, uh, there is that elk hunt. So, you know, watch that. And then uh, I'm going to have a playlist over here of, you know, mule deer, elk, uh, things like that and then you know be paying attention because here in a couple weeks or a week or two I've got another elk hunt that I'm going to be putting out as well. So uh, the next hunt uh, is on film a really beautiful bull over 300 inches and so you know y'all be paying attention because I've got that one coming so you know please go ahead and hit the like button hit the subscribe button and I really appreciate y'all. Thanks so much. God bless y'all and uh, good luck the rest of the season.